Well, what a game that was. 13-12, the final. Lynchburg somehow escapes over Franklin and Marshall. 13-12. Winning head coaches here, Steve Kodelka. Just initial thoughts on what was truly a great lacrosse game. It, it was. I mean, we, we just talked about it in the locker room, and every possession was just huge, you know. And, uh, you know, cr- credit to Franklin and Marshall. I thought they played, you know, one, whatever former – Student athletes as the assistant coach over there, and, and Dave Elianki, and I, th- I thought they did an awesome job. I mean, they competed. Our guys competed, ended up being a one goal game. I mean, just a, uh, another special game in this at this Mustang Classic. Take me through the last two minutes of the game, which included at least two uh, pipes hit by Franklin and Marshall, and then two concurrent penalties, which yeah. put you two men down with about a minute to play. Yeah, I mean, you know, lacrosse is such an awesome game. You know, you get these wild, you get these wild swings, and. Uh, they were shooting. They were shooting the ball great, and um, and Tyler, I thought, had a really good game today. But uh, you know, we got we lucked out with the two posts, and then and then maybe they lucked out a little bit with being two men up uh, late in the game with a minute left, and um, you know, and they capitalized on it, which is which is what good teams do, you know. And so made it a one goal game, and we had to you know fight to win this thing at the end. All right, let's talk about a couple of players. First of all, I want to talk about the goal by uh, Chris Darminio, which I thought was a huge goal yeah. off that turnover. Yeah, I mean, we you know we. Uh, we haven't had one of those in, in a couple of games, you know. So it was kind of a loose ball, and earlier in the earlier in the quarter, we had a two on one, and we opted to shoot it rather than make make the one more. And you know, Chris, you know, in that spot coming off a long pole, it's kind of a hard one to pick up. And I, I thought he did a great job of placing it, and and because uh, that goalie played number one played great for them today, so I was, was just really glad it went in. Spencer Vandenberg started for Connor Bez on the first attack. He got a couple goals today. Yeah, you know, Spencer is. Uh, and we got a really kind of deep attack unit, and so you know we, we I thought Spencer came in yesterday and did some really good things, so it was kind of worth starting him today, and um, he earned that start. And um, I thought he played really well today. You know, kind of wasn't nervous at all. Scored I think the first goal of the game, and you know he's a, he's a special player. He's a little different, and uh, you know obviously hadn't scattered him before, but um, but but played played really well. And Grant Voigt had a couple goals for you today. Yeah, you know we went up to the Voigt's house last night for dinner, so uh, well, maybe right, maybe local, right? maybe a little right. home cooking, and uh, you know being back in his home ground a little bit but now he is uh grant's been through a lot in the last month i mean he's had uh, some injuries and um and for him our, our guys probably saluted him the most down in the locker room and he has been through a ton and he he's a heck of a talented player and um today he made some assists he's he, you know he shot, shot the ball really well and just created offense and uh and and replacing dylan wolf you know he kind of stepped in for dylan wolf who, who was injured and couldn't play this weekend and that's a tall task to, to fill in, especially where, where he's been, and uh, just super proud of the effort he gave tonight. We talked yesterday after the loss to St. Lawrence. That's a good team, by the way, St. Lawrence. You, what did you tell your team over the last 24 hours? What have you learned about your team this weekend? You know, it, really the last week, and we've been on the road since Monday morning, and, uh, you know, I, I couldn't be more proud of our guys. I mean, we've been on the road, you know, Monday through today, and – you know, tight quarters, traveling, um, playing in snow, playing last <laughs> night, playing a great St. Lawrence team, a great Tufts team, a great F and M team. Um, we we threw our guys into the deep end, you know, this week, and uh, you know, and to come out with a win kind of makes it feel a little bit, you know, satisfying. But I couldn't be more uh, just proud of of how they regrouped after yesterday, uh, got together, you know, talked about things, and and uh, and just did what what we hope uh, what becomes a great team that they do. They just kind of bonded and. Uh, and just worked together and, and lifted each other up and, and played a great game today. So the ODAC is tough, but so are you guys. Yeah, you know, I mean, uh, yeah, we're just going to take this one today. You know, the, mm-hmm. we're, we're about to get into the ODAC swing of things. It's a great conference. Um, some of our teams have some great out-of-conference wins, which is awesome. And, um, I, you know, I, I'm proud. We're proud to be a part of that conference. And we want our, all of our teams to win out-of-conference games. So, um, but we're proud to represent here that that conference and, and our school and our university and our alumni. Uh, and, and if, you know, I, I, hope, I don't know if there's another question or not, but before it is, I mean, I want to thank Stevenson, you know, for everything that they've done for this event. This is – Besides, the, as I said to the team, besides championship weekend, this is the best weekend of, of college lacrosse. And uh, the, the staff, the, the help, um, you know, Paul and, and his communication and all the people that help with that. And uh, it's just an amazing, it's an amazing environment. And every kid leaves here with an unbelievable experience. And that's our job as, as college coaches to provide our student athletes with the best collegiate experience we can. This event provides that for our student athletes. And uh 
and, and hats off to Stevenson for, for rolling out the red carpet for these young men and, and letting them play the game they love. So th thank you for Stevenson. I really appreciate that. I want to make one more comment and ask one more question. What really struck me, I love this. Dom Zingo leads your team out of the tunnel with the American flag. You guys take the lap around the field. Tell me about that. It's been a tradition that's been passed on. You know, guys graduate, they hand the flag over to someone else. And, um, you know, our program, you know, there's a lot of tradition in our program. There's a lot of proud alums. There's a lot of people that, that follow us and, and, um, and, and you know, lo love our university. You know, what was Lynchburg College now the University of Lynchburg. And so um, we're, we're proud to, you know, we're proud of the name on the front of our jersey in an extreme way. And uh, our kids do, I think, an awesome job of representing uh, the school in the best way possible. Steve Kudelka, congratulations. Thank, best thank, of luck to thank you. Thank you very much. Yep, you got it. it. On GoMustangSports.tv.